Hey there, amazing learners. Welcome back to JSI Edulive. Today, we are diving into the fascinating world of metals and non-metals. Ready to learn? Let's get started. First up, what exactly are metals and non-metals? Let's break it down. Metals are elements that are usually shiny, malleable, ductile, and good conductors of electricity and heat. Think of gold, silver, copper, and iron. You know, the shiny stuff. Non-metals, on the other hand, are elements that don't exhibit the properties of metals. They are usually not shiny, not malleable, not ductile, and poor conductors of heat and electricity. Common examples include sulfur, oxygen, nitrogen, and carbon. Let's dive into the characteristics of metals and non-metals in more detail. Metals are typically solid at room temperature, except for mercury, which is a liquid. They have high melting and boiling points, and they are also very dense. That's why we use them in construction and manufacturing. They are also malleable and ductile, meaning they can be hammered into thin sheets and drawn into wires. Remember aluminum foil and copper wires. Nonmetals can be solid, liquid, or gas at room temperature. They have lower melting and boiling points compared to metals, and they are generally less dense. Because they are poor conductors, we often use them as insulators. Nonmetals are also brittle, meaning they break easily when you try to hammer or stretch them. That's why you don't see nonmetal hammers. So, where do we use all these metals and nonmetals? Metals are everywhere, buildings, cars, electronics, and even jewelry. We use nonmetals in things like fertilizers, for growing food, and life-saving gases like oxygen. And there you have it, a quick dive into the world of metals and nonmetals. Remember to like, share, and subscribe for more amazing content. See you next time.